This is the cart, guys. I did not expect to come out with this much stuff. I probably made more profit here than I did in the bookstore within a lot less hours. I was at the bookstore from 11 to 4, so that's 5 hours. I was here from 4 to 7, 3 hours, and I probably made about definitely a lot more profit. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Randy, back with another video. If you guys are new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out on any future videos just like this one. Okay, so today I'm actually going to be doing more retail arbitrage. As you guys can tell by the title, I'm going to be looking for my books. And my goal today is to actually get as many books possible so I can finally send out a shipment. So what I want to do is send my first shipment in before the first week ends of when I started. So I pretty much want to show you guys that it's possible to send out a shipment within a week from starting your retail arbitrage business. All right, guys, so this is the actual thrift store. It's uh, pretty crazy in there, I'll show you guys. Oh, they actually cleaned it up. It was bad, the books were all over the floor here. Well, I guess we'll start back here and then work our way forward until we get to the first two bookshelves because that's where I finished already last week. All right, so apparently somebody has gone to that place within the last month. However, I don't think she's put anything else on the shelf because she said that she has like a bunch of boxes at home that she's ready to put out, but she forgot them at home today, which is the main reason I came. I came at 10 o'clock so I can go through those boxes first and hopefully find something, but she slacked, so it's all good. Now we're going to go get gas because I'm literally on E, like on E, as you guys can see right there, lights on, it's all the way at the bottom. And I got to go decently far to get this gas because I get cheap premium gas. After that, I'm actually gonna go to any Goodwill that's local around there because I don't know how they work, but I gotta like talk to the employees and see how often they put out books and see when like the biggest batch comes. Who knows? Like I, I gotta figure it out. And there's something you guys have to do as well. But it's all a part of the process. So I'm stopping at Goodwill and I know the prices of books are a little pricey here, but maybe we can get enough profit on some books and cash out over here. And obviously not cash out too much, but hey, who knows? You never know what can happen. All right, guys. So I told you guys that I got into the Goodwill store at like 11 or last time I was walking out at 11. Four o'clock now almost. You guys can't see that, but it's four o'clock and I was there since 11, pretty much four hours, five hours. And I was only able to get this many books. I'm a little dirty, but whatever. I think they'll still sell. We got more here. We got a total of 29 books for just under $29, which is really not the best price. You can do a lot better. It is what it is at this point. As far as going to like bookstores or thrift shops, they had the most books that were like being accepted through Scout IQ. So now I'm actually at Target where I'm gonna go find some stuff on clearance item, hopefully. All right, so now I'm at Target. I'm not trying to be too loud, but apparently I saw somebody was buying stuff from the clearance sections here and they said that's where they had the most success compared to any other store. So I'm gonna check it out, scan items and hopefully get a few things because I know with the books it's not the most profit so this is more profitable stuff hopefully I can hopefully I'm not restricted on some of these things all right guys so I just found a product that I can actually sell which is weird it's an NBA socks it's like a three pack and I can make three dollars just like profit off of it and it's only 448 which is almost 100% ROI which is really good and I'm surprised because usually you can't like when you go to Walmart and stuff it's, I mean usually a lot of like name brand stuff is kind of hard to resell especially through amazon because they're restricted so i'm surprised you can even resell this it's ridiculous so i'm gonna hopefully i can find more of these and if i do that'd be amazing that way i can just buy a bunch of these most of this stuff is restricted except like the really not so popular stuff like this this and i'll show you guys what else all right guys so i just left target and i am amazed by the amount of things that i found that have made me well not they haven't made me profit just yet but they're gonna make me profit and look this is the card guys I did not expect to come out with this much stuff. I probably made more profit here than I did in the bookstore within a lot less hours. I was at the bookstore from 11 to 4, so that's 5 hours. I was here from 4 to 7, 3 hours, and I probably made about definitely a lot more profit. I did not think this would be able to happen because I thought I was restricted from a lot of things, but as you guys can see, if you guys just go ahead and do something, go out and just do it, you will find your products. I'm telling you, just go out and do it. Now, just before I go home, I'm actually going to go to Whole Foods. I need to go and get some boxes or a box or two really i'm not gonna get too many just yet i'm actually as a matter of fact i'm gonna get as many as possible so i don't have to make another run later on that's so i can put all the stuff that i just bought in those boxes and ship them out wednesday because tomorrow's my girlfriend's day off and i want to spend time with her we're actually going to shoot a video for the other channel which is going to be hopefully entertaining for you guys not, not only to like entertain you guys but more for giving back more 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 for uh 
We're doing it more for a better cause, put it that way. But anyway, staying on topic, the next thing I need is actually gonna be that paper that you put inside of the boxes so stuff doesn't move around. But I think I'll just go ahead and buy that from like Lowe's or Home Depot, whatever. All right, guys, as you guys can see in front of me, I have everything I bought today pretty much spent eight hours buying all this, which I think was a little excessive, but what took the most time was the books because I had to go through every single one. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't think I made much profit on them, but it's not really for profit, it's more to get more items out there so I can just better my seller account. It's really what I want, so I'm like less restricted on things to buy. Because as you guys can see, I bought these BS things right here, this freaking blanket, this right here, whatever, I don't even know, it's light up soccer table. I hope it's not used. It's open, so, oh shoot, I might have to return this if it was open. But we'll see. I bought just stuff, whatever was profitable at the moment, and I'm, I'm gonna check over it before I, if, before I like upload it to Amazon Seller Central and then ship it out. See, I bought a bunch of stuff here. I bought video games, coloring books, socks. These socks do really well, apparently. Um, I bought a few games, pillowcases, uh, more games, some emergency blankets. All this from Target, by the way, too, guys. Some sheets for the bed and also, well, this is for the bed. This is for a couch or a little sofa. More socks there and then some other stuff. I don't know. A little charger for the car, I guess. So I did really good at Target. Oh, and I saw this stuff as well. So all this is going to go in one shipment, hopefully. I highly doubt it. I think I'm probably going to get two different shipments, maybe three. Shipping is going to be for another video. I don't know if it's going to be the next one or not, but definitely going to be showing you guys how to do that because it's something I'm actually learning right now. But like I said, everything that I'm doing on here is a learning experience. So you guys don't feel like you're going through it alone. And another thing I wanted to show you guys was how many books I scanned today and how many I ended up buying. So let me show you how many scans I got. We're gonna go to Scott IQ real quick. Slide over. So here it says, I scanned 2,000 books at least. The 90s probably like doing a few over, such as the ones that I bought here because I did like double check the prices on the live and the database on this. If you guys understand how Scott, Scott IQ works, then you guys know exactly what I'm saying. And I got an acceptance rate of 8%. I don't know why I doesn't want to focus on this at all, but whatever. I'm letting you guys know I got an 8% acceptance rate, which is 166 accepts, but let's say it's actually 150, maybe even less, because like I said, I did some over, but as you can see, it goes, it takes a lot of scans just to get 30 books. Like I only got 30 books. I got a lot of accepts, but I didn't go through with all of them because obviously I had to pay the price of the book still and I wasn't gonna make a profit on some of them and on top of that some of them didn't do too well like some of them e-scores were below 25 and I didn't go below 25 because anything above 25 sells within a week anything below that takes two to four four to six months six months a year it takes a while to sell and there was some that I was debating on doing it but I was like you know what I'm gonna play it safe because this is my first run of doing this so I want to get the money back as fast as possible so the most I the longest I really want to wait to sell all this is a month because I want to show you guys within a month that it's possible to start your own business and it's crazy you guys can see me right here so you guys can see everything I'm doing but really that's the main point show you how fast and easy this is I started this not even a week ago and I'm gonna actually get these products all packed up today I, I didn't think I'll get this money today but I want to get them all packed up and ready to go so I can ship it out tomorrow whenever me and my girlfriend go out anyways guys that's it for today if you guys have any questions leave them down in the comments below I'm down to help you guys I really want it to, to, to expand so much and like this is not the only thing I'm gonna be doing this channel I didn't just switch over to retail arbitrage. This is just one business that I'm doing. And I'm gonna expand it to the point where I can have an employee, which I'm gonna show you guys later on. Obviously, it's gonna happen. Like I promise you, like I'm I'm determined to do this. Like I don't go to school to study entrepreneurship for no reason. Like I really love to do this. And I wanna show you guys that anything is really possible. And also throughout these videos, I'm gonna show you other videos as well of me starting other businesses, such as like, well, this is like a freelancing business. Like you can do it all from your house. Well, you gotta go out sometimes, but you can even do other stuff, you can even do move on to private label after you get big with this if you decide on doing that there's so many other things to do and you guys will see i will start doing a bunch of stuff like serial entrepreneurship is really what i want to do like that's my main goal that's my main reason i'm studying entrepreneurship so that's why i'm doing this to expand on that and then also have a portfolio for school i mean but anyways guys like i said any questions leave them down in the comments below if you guys have any suggestions or you feel like i'm doing anything wrong or you feel like i can do anything better also leave them in the comments below because if the suggestion is good and i start implementing that then I can show those techniques to you guys or to the viewers that don't know that aside from just like reading the comments, you know, because a lot of people don't read the comments and they just watch the video. So if you guys suggest that and I implement it, it's just going to spread. And I just, I say like, don't be greedy. If like, I know a lot of people think like, oh, people are going to steal my idea. Like this lady came up to me today and she was like, uh, I don't want to steal your idea, but I do the same thing. Like I flip stuff. She didn't flip books, but she flips like old, old 
items from Goodwill or whatever from thrift stores. You know, thrifting. And I was like, I don't really care. Like, you're not gonna outbeat me. That's where you gotta like be competitive and just don't let anybody or anything bring you down. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe, like, and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out on any future videos like this one, especially following this whole retail arbitrage thing. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Make sure you guys keep grinding. Peace.